What's up guys, welcome back to another Soul Souls video. Today I'm going to be going over my top 10 shoes in my collection. So I'd say I have about 16, 17 shoes in my collection. So this was a really hard list to make. Uh, not only just to try and narrow it down to a top 10, but then put it in order. So a lot of these uh, shoes aren't in any particular order except for I'd say the top three. Those ones I tried my best to uh, order them from least favorite to favorite. But again, I really love all of these shoes and if I could do a collection video soon, I think I'd wait to get a couple more pairs because compared to other sneakerheads, it's not a huge collection, but it's a collection where I really like all my shoes and none of it's super hyped or anything. It's just my personal interests and ones that really uh, stand out to me. So I hope you enjoy this list. There's a lot of D-Roses, a lot of Jordans, some Pumas, even the Vans collaboration, but we'll get all into all of that in just a second. Let's finally get into the top 10. I'm really excited. So let's start off with number 10. All right, so at number 10 is the Air Jordan 10 in the Orlando colorway. Now, before I got these, I was super hyped on them and I was really looking forward to them. And once I got them, I enjoyed them, but they weren't anything special to me. But over the past year, they've really grown on me and I really like its clean white, black, and blue colorway. And it goes with a lot of my outfits. So that's why it's coming in at number 10. Number nine. At number nine is the first D-Rose on the list and that's the Adidas D-Rose 7. Now, I used to wear these a lot to school when I was younger and where I'm out, but then I kind of realized the whole concept of basketball shoes usually being basketball shoes and uh, regular shoes being, you know, everyday shoes. And so I haven't been wearing them uh, off the court or anything like that. But these are here pretty much strictly because of how amazing of a shoe it is for basketball. As you see the traction pattern, the boost, the ankle support, everything is just top notch with the D07. Number eight. At number eight is the Puma Clyde Court in the hashtag reform colorway. I got this, I believe at the athlete's foot and they were already on sale at $75 and then they had an additional sale so I was able to get these for about $50 and for that price these are definitely one of my favorite shoes in my collection they're super comfortable with the knit and I really like the overall message of it it's uh, for prison reform and it has the we had to be seen because we couldn't be heard and it's just overall really awesome and super cool shoe number seven at number seven is my only dead stock pair of shoes in my collection, and that is the Air Jordan 5 in the Fire Red colorway. This is definitely one of my favorite Jordans, definitely one of my favorite colorways of a Jordan, and I just had to have them when they were released. I got lucky and saw that they restocked, and so I was able to get them, and I haven't been able to wear them because they pretty much got here uh, like a week or so after everything started happening so I've been inside and I haven't really had many occasions to wear them out but still one of my favorite shoes in my collection number six at number six is the Adidas Rose 1.5 this is the first Rose retro so far that Adidas has done and I just I love this shoe so much it's definitely it was hard not having this in the top five. The leather on it is amazing quality. The color is awesome. And the fact that it's a first D-Rose retro, I had to have them. I got lucky on Foot Locker and there was like one, my size was the only size left and I was able to get it for under a hundred dollars. So for this kind of quality on a retro D-Rose for under a hundred, I just couldn't turn down the offer, and this is definitely one of my favorite shoes. This is where it got really hard for me to decide on what shoe would go where. It was a super hard choice, but we're going to start our top five now. So, beginning with number five. And number five is the Puma Ralph Sampson OG Retro. 
in the original white, navy, and peacoat colorway. Now, I think one of my first Pumas in my collections, I think the Clyde Court came first, but this colorway and the, sh the model in general is just one of my favorite shoes. It's a super clean colorway that you can really wear almost with anything. Super comfortable, amazing leather, and that's why it's at my number five. Number four. At number four is my only pair of Vans in my collection, and that is the amazing A Tribe Called Quest and Vans collab. Now, I love the colors on these. That's one of the main reasons it's my uh, number four on this list. It's a callback to a lot of A Tribe Called Quest's past albums like Midnight Marauders, The Low End Theory, and also People's Instinctive Travels and The Paths of Rhythm. And all the callbacks to A Tribe Called Quest and their past work is why I love the shoe so much. These were the hardest selections to make. We're gonna go with our top three now. So number three. At number three is the Adidas RG3 Energy Boost in the burgundy, orange, and yellow colorway. Now this is RG3's signature trainer with Adidas. RG3 is my favorite football player. And when I heard that he had a shoe, I had to get these. His shoes are really the main reason I became a sneaker collector because I loved all the colors. But this one, out of all the RG3s, is definitely my favorite. It's just such a clean and classic colorway. That's why it's my number three. Number two. At number two is hands down my favorite D-Rose of all time, at least colorway wise. This is the Adidas D-Rose 9 in the Harlem Renaissance colorway. Now these are also known as the Black History Months or the CBC Celebrating Black Culture. And not only do I like it because it's a Black History Month shoe, but the colors on here are hands down one of the best colorways used on a basketball model in recent times. The purple, the light red salmon, the black and the gum bottoms all really complement each other really nicely. And especially if you have that special Timberwolves City Edition jersey that was celebrating Prince. And if you have that jersey and the D-Rose Nines, it's such an awesome pair. They just go together perfectly. I love this shoe so much. And it was super hard to be number two, but it is at my number two slot. And finally, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, my top shoe in my collection hasn't changed since my last video of my top five shoes. My number one shoe is the Air Jordan 12 Retro in the International Flight colorway. These are my first Jordans and hands down my favorite Jordans that I have in my collection and my number one shoe in my collection. I love how the colors pop and they all go together nice with the navy, white, and red. I love how it celebrates Japanese culture with it saying Air Jordan on the heel. And I love how it shows the koi fish scales on the side and how it has the cartoons of the clouds like you'll see in Japanese illustration. I love these shoes so much and you can obviously see why they're my number one shoe in my collection. Alright guys, that's going to be it for my top 10. Let me know in the comments down below which of the 10 was your favorite shoe and thanks for watching this video. I know I haven't posted in a while. Hopefully those D-Rose 11s come out pretty soon so I can do a video. But until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.